Good morning. How y'all doing? Well, you know, no repeat Thursday. Went in the stadium today. You know, we'll go inside tomorrow. We want to go in the stadium so we can get a feel for it. The quarterbacks get to throw in the stadium because, you know, the win in Nebraska can be a little tricky at times. So we took him in. We took him out there today. It was, it was a good practice, though. It was detailed. They were on point with things, and I feel good about where they're at right now. You said on Tuesday that Jaquez and Ramir are going to be those guys at back running back will be recovering. I mean, Ramir hasn't seen the field a ton this year. What has he needed to do to get there? Well, he had, he had to get healthy, first of all. And he's healthy now, and, and he's stacked days. He had a really good week of practice this week. Yes, we didn't ask you about Tommy Hill. How, how did the bye week kind of help him with kind of moving over to wide receiver and, and getting a little bit more comfortable over there? Well, it helped him out a lot, you know, because he hadn't played receiver since, since high school. But um, he's playing a position, X position, where it's it's it's, it's not what say it's simple, but it's um it's simple when you play a receiver, but it's a little complicated for him. But he he had a better week this week. Do you see when he's on the practice field though? I mean, do, do you see kind of the instincts in him at wide receiver that will allow him? To yes. What what we're not going to do here is have him robots. We don't coach the athleticism out of him. So before I let him do that, I'll stop a coach. So Kaz has done a great job with him getting him ready, but we won't coach the athleticism. He's a very athletic kid. That's that's his strength. So we got to let him play at his strength. And Brock Mando didn't travel with the team uh, in that previous game. What's his status? Well, we we're trying to get him back, but he's gonna we're gonna look at him again tomorrow. Then we got to look at him on Saturday and see if he'll be ready to go by game time. He just, he's just we, you know like I told you with, with injuries. Nobody tells these kids they're ready to come back unless they say, Mickey, I'm ready to go. The doctor, the trainer, nobody. So when he say, Mickey, I'm ready to go, then I'll get him, then he can go. Was Omar Manning able to get back to work? No, no. You know, I, Isaac Gifford has really kind of made that nickel position his own. I mean, what level of comfort do you have in him you know, going out there, playing pretty much the whole game? Oh, no, I'm really comfortable with Giff. But I, I, I think the backups, Omar and, 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 and Jalen, Jalen, they got, they got to be ready because it's hard to have a kid play 85 to 90 snaps. So, But I have a lot of confidence in Giff. Giff's been playing really solid this year. Mickey, what have you seen from the linebackers, obviously, with Brimmer being back with Henry, what have you seen from the guys that have had to step up? Well, I'm proud of those guys because, you know, they went from playing 20 snaps to 60 snaps. And, they, like I said, they were really detailed this week. And um, Ernest, Ernest had a really good week of practice. So between those three kids, they got to be able to hold their own. You know, we know Luke's going to have to play more snaps since, since Nick's out. But I'm really proud of those three, those three kids. He was, speaking of Ernest, Voss said he was impressed. You know, Ernest came into that Purdue game, was talking a lot. I mean, have you seen that growth in communication? From well, well, we, talk, we t always talk to these kids about even if you're not the starter, you got to prepare like you're starting. So you won't be surprised when you're in the game because you don't ever know when you're going in the game. So if you're a backup, you're just one play away from playing. If you're a third guy, you're just two plays away from playing. So we had to develop that mindset here, that when you're on the sideline, just because you're not getting reps, physically, mentally, you got to get reps. So Ernest has done a really good job of doing that because at the, at, at the end of the day, we had to throw him in, and I thought he played well. One or two more. Okay. Coach, what do you think is the key to your success on the offensive side of the ball come Saturday? We got to execute. We got to execute whatever whip's call. We got to execute it. I think they're I think they're a physical group right now. I think they they believe that they're a physical group, and we we had a physical practice Tuesday and a physical practice Wednesday. So we want to continue to be physical. We we got to try to be the most physical team on the field every Saturday. That's 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 what Nebraska was built on. Nebraska football was built on being physical. And that's that's what we got to get to. All good, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What's my boy that asked me that question? <laughs> <laughs>